Speaking of guys not working anymore, as of right now, Kyle Seeger is out of a job, but this is by his own choice. Uh, He retired from Major League Baseball the other day. Now, for me, Kyle Seeger was a fixture with the Seattle Mariners because when there was a stretch where it was like I would go to a Mariners game and I would look at like getting a jersey or a jersey or whatever, and I'd be like, I don't want to get one with a name on it because those guys might not be here tomorrow. You know, I mean, I'm sure you've experienced that as an Astros fan, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, Kyle we're going to talk been... a little bit about that here in a bit. <laughs> yeah, But Kyle Seager's been, he was there for 11 years. He spent his entire career with the Mariners, and uh, he had a nice big send-off and farewell um, the last game of the season, and it was fantastic. Um, but I'm actually really happy to see him retire as a Mariner. I don't think he's necessarily a Hall of Famer, but you're – with your experience being a fan of a team in the division, do you think Kyle Seeger did enough to get his number retired with the Mariners? I actually had to go look up some of his stats because I wasn't horribly familiar with them. And I mm-hmm. think actually you being the Mariners fan, it would probably be easier for you to tell me why should his number be retired. But you could, like, when you're talking about teams retiring a number, though, that's very subjective. I mean, there's some guys that their, their numbers are retired purely for – things off the field or they're dead, you know, or things Mm -hmm. like that. So I think that if, if, if the city embraced him, like, so yeah, yeah, I guess take a step back. Uh, Irregardless, I know that's not a word, but irregardless of his stats, (laughs) like if the city, if he embraced the city and the city embraced him and he was there the whole time and he decided to retire instead of going and pittering out with another team for another year or two, Mm -hmm. then I think, sure. Why not retire his Jersey? I think that that's, very different from putting them like in a hall of fame because you right. know, yeah, like you could be in there just because you died tragically, you know, yeah, or yeah, you exactly. have your, your number retired. So, so you as the Mariners fan, though, I mean, would do you have any objection to that? No, I don't. don't. They normally, I, I would wait a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, like you need to wait a couple years. Of years. Like that. Yeah, yeah, because right now they're the Mariners only have three retired numbers. They have obviously Jackie That's Robinson. It? Yeah, obviously Jack, Jackie Robinson. That was the first one. You've got Edgar Martinez and Ken Griffey Jr. And that's it. Like wow. no Randy Johnson, no Jay Buhner, who was, by the way, like Jay Buhner was a fan favorite when Griffey was playing, right? So that's I feel like that's a pretty big deal. And if you're not going to retire his number, then I, maybe you you do need more on field production. And that's what Kyle Seeger had. I mean, he was the rock. He was the constant for the eleven years that he was there. And this year, when they were like you know, supposed to win maybe 70 games. He was the guy who rallied everybody together and kind of pitched a fit at the trade deadline with the Ken, with the Kendall. Drake they kind of had deal. a period. They were chasing a little, they were chasing a wild card slot for a little bit, weren't they? Well, it was the last day of the season. They got eliminated. That's right. So, <laughs> and a lot of guys attributed the, the fact they had that much success to him. The fact that he stepped up and he led everybody. He was a coach within the ranks, you know, like a player coach. And so I do feel like he's kind of, gained himself some clout within the community with the team that I think they probably could do it and nobody would be upset about it. But at the same time, if they decided not to do it ever, um, I don't know that anybody would necessarily raise hell over it. You know, I, I, I was looking up the Astros only have four retired numbers. So oh, really? I, yeah. Uh, the, the, the two obvious Biggio and Bagwell. I knew that mm-hmm. one, uh, Nolan Ryan, and then obviously Jackie Robinson, yeah, hmm. I didn't know they retired. No, I've been to that stadium so many times. You think I've seen that? <laughs> One would think. No, that that's crazy though to think about. I mean, there's obviously going to be more here down the road in the next ten to fifteen years or whatever. But <laughs> I was a, I, I was a real anxious kid, and then I grew up to be a real anxious man. But <laughs> I like that. I remember as a kid when I learned about retired numbers, the first thing my brain went to is, "What do you do when you run out of numbers?" Like I don't know. Like as a kid, what a weird thing. Look at the Yankees. A, I mean, for a kid, for like an eight-year-old to stress about is, "What are the Yankees going to do when they run out of double digits?" You know, <laughs> yeah. are they gonna have to go Next to halves, year. or are they gonna have to do triple digits like they're um, like they're referees in the NBA. You know, like <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Speaking of numbers, do you know where do you know where the the jersey number comes from? What jersey? So just just in general, just the jersey number comes from. Oh, I, I always assumed it was just so the umpire could remember who people were without having to know their names. That's part of it. So the Yankees actually started, and this is the reason Babe Ruth wore number three, because they first they kind of implemented it, and it indicated the batting order. So you got Babe Ruth batting number three, so naturally oh, he's I see. number three. Yeah, I so. always just assumed it was so when there was a giant brawl, they could just... <laughs> 15, 72, and 15. 
and 16. You guys are, yeah, you guys are gone. That's always the yeah. best part of the post brawl at an MLB <laughs> game is them all getting together with their notepads and <laughs> scribbling down. <laughs> Well, it's like anyway. <laughs> <laughs> at least they get it right though for the most part because in the NFL they can't get it right. They got a holding call. Oh, call they're terrible the, at it on the know, receiver when it was the guard. You know, <laughs> no, you don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. Like I said, Kyle Seeger potentially could have retired, but I don't know that there would necessarily be any problems if they didn't. 